Hi, this is Injury Attorney Ann Fong. This is What You Need to Know. Today, we are gonna to talk about what to do if you've been involved in an Uber or a Lyft accident. Um, this can apply if you are either a driver for Uber or Lyft or if you are a passenger in an Uber or Lyft car. The first thing we're gonna talk about is if you are a driver for Uber or Lyft. Um, you, have, you are required to have insurance on your car. So if you are involved in an auto accident and you do not have the Uber or Lyft app on and you get hit, well, obviously, then your own insurance applies. Um, but however, if you are involved in an accident and you've turned your Uber or Lyft uh, app on, but you have not accepted a ride and you are involved in an accident at that point, then Uber's policy that will kick in is about $50,000, up to $50,000 of coverage for a bodily injury claim. The last phase uh, is if you have accepted a ride um, and you're on your way to pick up a passenger or if you have the passenger in the car and you get into an accident, then Uber's policy will cover up to $1 million. Now, if you are, the, if you are a passenger in a car um, and you get involved in an accident and uh, the driver is at fault or another party's at fault, you as the passenger have access to Uber's $1 million uninsured motorist policy. Um, if, if it was another person's party, uh, if another person was at fault, um, then you can access Uber's $1 million policy. Now, if the Uber driver was at fault, then it's a third party claim against the Uber driver, which is still a million dollars. Um, so there's a lot more involved in these Uber Lyft cases. Um, so it's best not to handle those on your own and to call an experienced attorney. So you know what to do. If something goes wrong, call me and Fong at 866 pain.